Holt's second album, Live Through This, was released a week after frontwoman Courtney Love's husband, Kurt Cobain, would die. Live Through This would become one of the defining alternative albums of the mid-90s, despite accusations from some that Cobain had a hand in writing much of the record, something Love has denied. But what's the story behind the girl on the front cover and whatever happened to her? That's what we're going to explore in today's video. Famed fashion photographer Ellen Von Unworth would shoot the cover for Hole's album Live Through This, recalling to another magazine. Courtney had the idea of reenacting the scene of the movie Carrie, which I loved too. Unworth would add that the pair got along great from the moment they first met, saying, I just met her the night before the shoot wearing her famous schoolgirl dress. We had some drinks and connected instantly. Surprisingly, Unworth would admit she hadn't listened to the record prior to doing the photo shoot, but knowing Love's connection to Nirvana, she trusted that the final product would be great. She eventually did hear the album and admitted to loving it. The release and promotion for Live Through This was marred by two personal tragedies. Kurt Cobain's death before the album came out and bassist Kristen Pfaff, who would pass away several months after its release under suspicious circumstances. The album would touch on topics including depression, anxiety, feminism, societal pressures, abuse, and relationship troubles. The model who appeared on the cover was named Lilani Bishop, who worked with Unworth before with the photographer revealing to TellAnotherMeg.com, I had just done several shoots with Bishop and really loved her cool rock and roll attitude. Courtney Love would tell MTV what she wanted from the shoot, revealing, I wanted to capture the look on a woman's face as she's being crowned. This sort of ecstatic blue eyeliner running, kind of I am, I am, I'm one. I have hemorrhoid cream under my eyes and adhesive tape on my butt and I had to scratch and claw and F my way up, but I won Miss Congeniality. On the album cover, the whole logo would also bear some resemblances to Mattel's logo for Barbie. Bishop would admit how she came up with the manic smile telling Kerrang! magazine, I believe the direction was the prom queen that had stepped on heads and shoulders to get where she was, pure ecstasy she would say. Bishop would admit to being a fan of Nirvana and was honored to do the project, and Courtney Love was supposed to come to the set the day of the shoot, but her friend ended up giving birth the same day, so Bishop never got to meet Courtney Love or any of the members of Hole. Bishop would admit to Kerrang that she rarely got recognized in public because the face she made on the album is of an alternative persona. So what is Bishop up to these days? Well, she's had a pretty big career as a model, first being discovered at the age of 15, and has appeared on the covers of Allure and Flair magazine, and been involved in promotional campaigns for big brands including Victoria's Secret, Balenciaga, and Tommy Hilfiger, to name a few. She's also started a non-profit called Women for the World, and started her own fragrance line in 2012, in addition to having a health and wellness company named Botanica Bazaar, telling Kerrang! magazine, I've always lived a pretty clean life and wanting a business of my own and work creatively with a friend. We found our way to opening Botanica Bazaar. Our mission is to curate a selection of products that balance mind, body, and spirit. True story, she would say. Unworth would go on to shoot several other high-profile female musician album covers, including Janet Jackson's The Velvet Rope in 1997, Britney Spears' Blackout in 2007, and Rihanna's Talk That Talk in 2011. As for Live Through This, it would go platinum in America, peaking at number 52 on the Billboard album charts, but as recently as last year, the album cover was in the news again when pop star Olivia Rodrigo shared a similar looking photo on social media to promote an upcoming concert film of hers, writing on social media, since I never got to go to prom, I wanted to throw a little prom party with my favorite people, you guys obviously. Courtney Love would get wind of it and post the side-by-side -side shot of Rodrigo and the cover of Live Through This with a caption that read, spot the difference, hashtag twinning. Rodrigo would answer back on Love's post writing, love you and live through this so much. But Love would go on a tirade writing on social media, it was rude of her and Geffen to not ask myself for Ellen Von Unworth. It's happened on my whole career, so I don't know. But manners is manners. Stealing an original idea and not asking permission is rude. There's no way to be elegant about it. I'm not angry, it happens all the time to me. I'm very gracious or say nothing, but this was bad form. That's not bullying or bomb throwing. This person's music has nothing to do with my life, possibly never will. It was rude and I have every right to stick up for my work. I've asked her for flowers and a note. She would go on to write, My favorite florist is in Notting Hill, London. DM me for deets. I look forward to reading your note, she'd say. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll Your Stories. Take care.